writing this letter to whoever happens to find this message. Leave now. Leave the island before it's too late. It will keep you here. It'll do everything it can. It'll keep throwing obstacles in your way. And then it'll turn your friends against you. Just go. Don't look back. It all started so simply. I just got a letter, an invitation on this strange tablet. Come to here, they said. Free vacation, they said. I had no idea what I was about to get myself into. Alright, here we go. Another scenario. And it wouldn't be one if we didn't have a small misstep right at the beginning. Oh yeah, this thing is hardcore from day one. If you die, you're dead. There is no recovering, there is no life drain. This is for all the marbles from the very beginning. But lucky for me, there's a little bit of treasure waiting on each of our islands. Heck yes! All right, let's take that. And while you're watching the early game in the background, let's explain how this thing works. We all spawn on our own island. That is ours. It is protected. Nobody can mess with you there. But the main island is where all the loot is and also most of the danger. So we're gonna have to venture out and across, but we were told one thing at the beginning, the water is dangerous. But while I'm done playing with all the physics in the collapsing world, which will get disabled a little bit later, don't worry about it too much, I immediately wanted to throw down some torches to avoid my island from having any spawnable mob space. Creepers look hilarious when they die, but they can kill you in one hit right now. I made myself a very rudimentary structure, and you'll see why we turned the physics off. Oh, come on. Yes, Neve. Thanks. Thanks for that warning, buddy. You couldn't have said it two minutes earlier. You're probably wondering how I ended up here. And it's a funny story, actually. Let me explain. But let me tell you, creepers are the least of my worries. The real dangers are things like the bone serpents that you would see in books. Or, if you happen to look out, the murder clowns. Or the murder skeletons. Or the murder ghosts. And believe me, that's just the beginning. Once the sun rose though, my first priority was gonna be food. If we can starve to death, we're gonna need something really early. I cleared out some space and planted some seeds right away, immediately getting the advancement with Sneeve, which you'll see like two more times on day one. You're gonna have to check out his video to see if we were really on the same wavelength or if this just happened to be coincidence. But after a quick server restart to turn off gravity because that was going to get excessive very quickly, my main priority right now is getting better building supplies and better tools. I made myself a house out of wood in case the physics would ever get turned on, thinking maybe that would last a little bit longer, and throwing down some torches on the beach and on fence posts with a door here to protect me. Hopefully nothing can break it down. We're still going retro though. Dirt roofs. So hot right now. I dug down directly underneath my base, getting down into the stone and making a mine shaft to just start gearing up. I dug into a lush cave, which is nice. Some glow berries would always be good, but iron is the main thing I'm searching for. I'm going to need to upgrade my gear really quickly. I dug all the way down to a lava pool, accidentally fighting this one flower looking thing. I remembered it from the Game of Thrones scenario after the fact, that thing was friendly. One of like two mobs in the entire pack that is. But I mined all the way down to deep slate before hearing that some people had made landfall on my island. Hey, hey, where are you? I'm, I'm in the mines. Come out. <laughs> okay, hi. We need to use your farm. Why? Because we're starving to death. <laughs> we have a ton of seeds, we're gonna plant them. Okay. Then we'll split food if you're okay with that. Here. Oh, thank you. Guess who stabbed me with an axe? Gee, well, guess who, I guess wonder. Guess who showed up on my island uninvited out of my hole? Yeah, Here. who would ever show up on somebody's island uninvited? So y'all have already been in it. Okay, good to know. Yeah. I see you have your totem. I found it. It was inside oh, this rock God. right here. <gasps> what? <laughs> I, gotta go, I gotta go look for mine. I'm coming back here after. My okay, hold together. up, hold up, hold up. Uh, okay. Do either you have some coal? Yeah. Can I have some coal? I've had the worst luck in getting coal. Perfect, thank you. So you can come back and use the farm. Okay, thank you. Here we see a wild forge lapse stuck on the sands. What is my man's up to? 
I'm not even sure he knows. Now knowing that I was next to two of the most dangerous people on the server, I threw some signs on my house and near the farm because I do want people to not die of rickets on day one. But I headed back down into the mine shaft since no one was gonna be bouncing around my island, digging into another deep slate cave and grabbing any coal, any gold or iron that I could find just so I could get myself leveled up and get golden apples. That's gonna be a main way to regen and keep myself alive. I did accidentally make contact with an enderman who got a little too clingy a little too fast, getting me down to half health on day one with a totem in my hand. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Thank goodness that water was there. But every mob here is dangerous, and the fact that I have no food remaining, I'm stuck at half health, and I have no way to regenerate, so this could get bad. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can do. What can I do to survive? And then I saw that the chipped skull in my inventory could be converted into bone meal. Now. I know if some of you know these mods, you might be thinking, no, you could turn yourself into a dark wizard or a summoner. Those are immensely cool. You know what's even cooler though? Not starving to death. So it might not be the optimal play, but it is the one that lets this video be longer than a short. I used that bone meal the next day to craft up a little bit of bread and after downing almost all of it, I was finally back up to full health. From there, I continued on Operation Everything the Light Touches, wanting a majority of my island at least to be safe because I know that scary mobs are in this pack and I don't do well with that. And it's a good thing I did because the scary mobs were already spawning. It's in the torches. You, can you pathfind to me from over there? I don't know what that is, but that's a set of eyes and that's coming towards me. Don't move. Oh, no, I hate it. <sighs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't you look at me. What is on this island? If y'all could feel my heart pounding right now. My heart is racing. That thing? That's called a nightmare stalker. It's also called my sleep paralysis demon and the spiders are no longer the worst thing that Sean has ever done to me. Hey everybody, editing Lagundo here, interrupting commentary Lagundo, who was no so much more than gameplay Lagundo. We're three levels deep. It gets worse. It gets so much worse. And this thing, the Nightmare Stalker, this is like third on the list. So, but then I found out in the morning that Nightmare Stalkers don't burn. So it's worse. I waited for it to eventually despawn, which it did, thankfully. Crafted up a golden apple thinking, maybe if it gets close to me, I'll be able to regen or maybe hide in the water. And if you can think back through all the scenarios that Sean has put us through, we are only a few hours in and this is already the top of my list. I threw down more torches throughout the entirety of that Minecraft day where most of my island was safe from mobs. Now this should be a double-edged sword. We'll find out about that a little bit later in the video, but it did cause something friendly to appear, sheep. I spent a little bit of time quickly making a pen for them out of deep slate walls and made a ladder to be able to head down to my basement, seeing things like wither tornadoes and mutated wolves 
yeah, they're here too. But first thing in the morning, I'm using what little extra wheat that I have to lure the sheep over. This will allow me to get mutton so I have an actually useful food, as well as being able to shear them for wool, meaning I can get a bed, meaning I can sleep. And that, that is huge. With a little bit more confidence, now feeling a bit more protected, I ventured down into another one of the open-faced caves, finding iron and coal, and a whole bunch of mutilated wolves and flaming zombies. But that all got me the resources that I need that I'd be able to upgrade to iron armor in just a little bit. And it turns out I wasn't the only one who had a bed. So a few of us slept, everybody else disconnecting, and we had done it. We had skipped the night. But that was my next little bit. If I'm gonna survive on this island long term, I need food, I need shelter, and I need to stay out of the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. The other thing I need is diamonds though. So I returned to caving a little bit later that evening, eventually finding a few diamonds, but not enough for a piece of armor. I was investigating around and just poking out from the caves, doing some combination of of branch mining and deep caving, making myself a diamond pick with three out of the four that I had collected, and now we're gaming. And by gaming, I mean mining obsidian, which is boring as heck, but it could come in handy later. There's no nether, so I really only need four pieces of it for a essential upgrade a little bit later on. I crafted up an iron chest plate and with a bit more defense, felt more comfortable staying out later into the night, farming and breeding my sheep. In the day, I'd be up on the surface. In the evenings, I would head down into the mines where things like Enderman creepers that split and teleported and voided around you were just chilling down here. And I'm not kidding when I tell you, that was probably the least of my worries. A few more diamonds, a few more wheat, a bit more sheep, and a whale friend hanging out on the coast. And I am in business. I'm feeling like I'm set to survive and considering when I'm gonna have my first venture off to the mainland. And then Ryan showed us all up and had apparently gone gangbusters getting a full set of netherite armor. What the heck is Ryan up to? I'm in half leather. What the heck? Okay, so uh, we gotta get going. Yeah, Ryan being in full netherite kind of puts my whole, I'm feeling good about my progress and I've accomplished a lot comment from like two minutes ago into perspective, doesn't it? He was looking for sugarcane, of which I had not seen any either. And with him venturing to the mainland, made me think that it was probably pretty rare. And I'm gonna need that for some of the things I have planned to survive. I was meshing around with Ryan a bit who it potentially wanted to team up, but as he logged off, I found a walkie-talkie, and it was time to talk to our favorite Snevelton. I wonder if he'll get the hint. Hey, hey what's up? I reckon I'll come give you a visit. Uh, I've got an interesting trade offer for you. Okay. But you have to keep it on the D-low. Okay. What's the whole danger on the water? The main deal with the water uh, creatures is uh, stay away from giant squids. Sharks and what are they called? You ever play Jack and Daxter back in the day? PS1, PS2. Uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a deep cut, but yes. Oh uh, yeah, thanks thanks for aging me, but um, hey, me too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and that big giant orange fish comes and eats you. Eats you. Yeah. Yeah, there's a fish in this that reminds me a lot of that. Fun. All right. I mean, so, like, where are you, coordinates-wise? Because me and you are basically opposite. Like, I'm just north of the volcano, which is directly east of you. Yeah, almost. Like, ju just a tiny bit north. We could both try to, like, hit the mainland. We could try and hit that beach that's kind of perfectly in the middle of both. The boot, the boot bay. The booty bay. The booty the, bay. The booty bay. Yeah. Well, let's meet at the booty bay. <laughs> the, ca the cape of booty. I will trade you for one, um... Sugar cane. Uh, yeah, yeah, one I don't cane. actually have a sugar cane. Oh, you don't have a sugar cane? Oh, damn it. Okay. I'll trade you for two diamonds then, because I, I need a enchanting table. Uh, I'm trying to get an enchanting table too, right? I have I have all the diamonds for it and the obsidian and everything else. Yeah, but this is a <coughs> trade. You'll be happy with this. Yeah, I'll bring the diamonds. Well, we can see. Alright, all right, good. 
Oh, okay, I'll meet you at the booty bay. With a plan to meet up, I crafted up a spare bed so we could skip the night on the mainland, sailed immediately over to the volcano island, and from there sailed over to the mainland, trying to minimize my time on water so I would avoid the dangers that Sean warned us about. Using the bed to skip the night and seeing different POI off in the distance, I rendezvoused with Sneeve at a place we would eventually call Booty Bay. Hey! <coughs> Sneeve! Yes, that's the one. What's up? I was just admiring the little uh, prison that's fit right here. Prison? You didn't see this? What's your render distance at? <laughs> Low. Oh, come come around. There's a little bit of a drop there. Yeah, I'm seeing it now, yeah. <laughs> Looks into this thing. This prison or military base proved immediately useful and would be a place we would return to several times throughout the scenario. And Sneeve trading to me a netherite ingot meant that he was somebody that I could probably trust to survive with, to collaborate with, to eventually escape this island. I kind of want to, because like, more mods are getting installed as we go, right? Yeah, I, I agree. It's it's safer to do it now than it is to do it later. It's a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of hay. Oh, and a blaze stand. Hell yeah. Did you take my brewing stand? I saw that oh. first. Damn it. Uh, there's another one over here. There's another one over here. You're fine. Oh, hello, Anvil. Oh, I, I gotta beat you to that one. Oh, there's another one right here. But as we continued searching around, finding more things throughout the chests, it was very clear that we were not the first people here. But... They had missed quite a bit. Ooh, pork chops and carrots. Carrots is good, because you can make golden carrots out of those. Come on here, bud. Oh. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, jeez. The sound of that was horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, dude. What? Zombie head. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was just about to give you one. Oh. Uh. Are they useful for anything other than, like, a cults trying to make zombies ignore you? I don't think it actually makes zombies ignore you. No, it, it lowers their detection range. I know that much. It does? Maybe in certain mod packs, but, I mean, the chainmail boots aren't better, but... Pause. Right there. Did you see it? Did you see what happened? The mistake that I had made? Maybe this will help you. Legit. I mean, the chainmail boots aren't better, but... Yeah, I'm gonna come back to regret that in about five minutes. The prison's been looted already, but it's, I mean, we got a bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I got like six damaged anvils and five cracked anvils. Probably and the best brewing thing. stands is huge. I mean, nether wart is gonna be tricky, but I think I know where, if anywhere, there's gonna be nether stuff. Oh, do you? Because the volcano is made of skulls. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Which feels a little ominous. There's a wither skull here. Um, oh, which means that there's probably one on the other one. There is. I can see it. Uh, oh, um, no, there isn't. Because can you imagine if there's three? Yeah, I, I've got two. <laughs> so, you have two? Yeah, we just need one more. You just got to promise not to open it at my base. We'll put it in Sean's. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here for that. All right, let's make it interesting. <laughs> what the heck is that sword? I can't remember because I've renamed it the Snorf Pokey Knife. <laughs> oh, fun. It's yeah, like some I think it's evil the dark blade sacrifice. that captures souls or something like that. Yeah, it's like the dark sacrifice sword or something. Oh, uh, fun. Same damage as a diamond sword, but attacks faster. Wait. You gave me a what? piece of netherite, right? Yeah. It's not my inventory. You're kidding me. No. I must have put it in a chest. I mean, oh God, because when you said dark metal, I'm like, is that what you gave me or did you give me netherite? No, no, it's netherite. Oh my God, no, I did not just do that. <laughs> oh dear. I potentially just did that. Found it. Oh my yeah. God, where did I put it? Where did my <laughs> dumb, did stupid- you, Why did you do that? It's in, it's in the middle chest. What the heck? Oh my God. You actual mentalist. I thought you were run I thought you were pulling my leg for a minute there. No! I was dead serious! What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> yeah. I know. I, believe me. I, I know. It just roast me in the comments. 
I deserve it. With our looting of the military base done, I figured it would be a good idea to show Sneeve over towards my place. And we spent a little bit of time checking out the volcano, which I found out was actually made of skulls. I left Sneeve over there, which would turn out to be a mistake, heading back to my base so that way I would be doing building when Sean would come over to me, so that way he would potentially not think that Sneeve and I were so closely allied. I was also putting the zombie heads up on pikes just for a little bit of aesthetics. But as I was planting in the carrots and getting the farming done, my mans arrived. Oh my god, that is a lot of sheep. Yep. Ah. What just oh happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Sean's gonna try to kill me. Sean, can you imagine the smoke a man day one? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, let me come You're over. Take me down. Stab. What the heck? I can't figure out what these are for. Let me, you take those. Hey, I'll Where, take things. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Where did you find wither skeleton skulls? And how many do you have? Not enough. Before you give the before before you put them in my base, Sean, please refrain. <laughs> I'm right? not. We're, we're not going after anyone. We're getting, we're all getting off this island together. We're a team. Yeah, I've heard that before. I don't trust this man's for a minute. I know how he works. He's gonna go island crazy and be talking about how uh, King Shalamabu or something needs our souls and he must sacrifice us to the island. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. So I have something to offer. I'll throw it on the ground here. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll offer you one of these. Oh, uh, you got one too. <laughs> you know what? Nice. As long as we're talking, maybe one of these. <laughs> oh, you guys got them too. Where'd you find yours? I went to the mainland and found one in a little prison like area. Uh, cool. I Which is wild because somebody had looted it and they missed it. Oh, wow. Uh, I was literally just at the volcano, and uh, I went to the central lava bit, and there was a chest there, and I found netherite in it. Oh my god. I have three. Yeah. That was literally like You were two just at the ago. volcano? That's right yeah. by my house! I could have yeah. gone over there! Uh, I'm going to hold on to mine. I only have three, and I want to try to trade them with people. I still need uh, diamonds. <laughs> I am still rocking very... Very, very light in the armor. I have had the worst luck in diamond hunting. Have you been to the island directly south of the volcano? Like I have uh, not. The swampy one? It? Yeah, that, look, that looks like a swamp. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go? Let's go to the swamp. Okay, let me dump off inventory. Let me just make you both a chest that you can just leave stuff here. All right, yeah. Cause here, uh, I have boats on the south end of the island. Three brave men. Here's how we play I lose. Three brave men. We swim. I lose. We swim. <laughs> right, we're playing two brave men. Two, Two brave men in a lagoon, though. Did he? Uh, ghost? Ghost. Yeah, they're ghost guarding right. emeralds. Oh, that's the guy that... Oh, yeah, this guy gives you blindness and slowness. Ah, ah a child! <laughs> you killed that child very quickly, Lagunda. I'm incredible. a parent. What can I say? <laughs> I got a we seed all. of chaos from that. Yeah, yeah, keep those, keep those. Don't look left. It's the edge of the world. The flat earthers will yeah, feel yeah, yeah. <laughs> vindicated. I knew it! I knew it! That's what I was wondering about. Oh! The cargo ship. Hello. So, are we going in from the top, or are we just digging in the bottom here? Uh, let's go this way. Alright. Oh, um, I can hear him. I can hear the boys. Oh! Okay, you guys agree to split loot at the end? Sure. Oh, yeah. Careful with the creeper on the left. I got some iron armor. Oh, if it's empty, someone's definitely looted us already. Some pork yep. chops and carrots. Yeah, the chest down the end is empty. Yeah, somebody's been here and I think burned it. Yeah, uh, and also because there's supposed to be a ton of anacondas in the ship. Oh, oh. great. I haven't seen I any mean... snakes other than the one you put on my island, Sean. It's been sad. Oh, yeah, that guy's going to come back. So. I, think I, I think the ship's going to blow up. <laughs> you are... Incorrigible. I was jumping out onto the balconies. I'm like getting ready to just full on yeet myself off it and hope for the best. Got some gold over here. Oh. Like, more slime balls. Ooh, iron blocks, y'all. Up here. Oh, God. <laughs> Stupendous. We all did it. We all survived. How about that? That trap door at the very end was kind of like, it felt very janky. Do we want to split what we got? I got like a bunch of iron and some gold. I got mainly food. food. Yeah, I got a lot of food. 
No, I got like I I got 14 iron blocks. Oh. The only thing of value that I got really was uh, fully full full Sweet. anvils. I can make a bone call of stuff when I get home. That'd be cool. Do you need Do you need the seed of chaos? I don't know how to craft this stuff. Seed of chaos is used for a bunch of other stuff. I found a uh, shattered skull, which can be used. Oh, to I had one of those. Stuff. Definitely keep on to that stuff. Hang on to that stuff. I was about to starve to death, so I turned it into bone meal and oh, oh no, and grew some wheat. And so whoops. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out my strategy of keeping the spooky things away, it worked for keeping me alive in the short term, but it was gonna drastically limit me long term unless I wanted to get into some of the OP armor, weapons, and dark magic that was in this pack. With the ship done and us conveniently forgetting to split the loot, I had a feeling that I wasn't the only one who found something good, but it it was fine. It's day one. We can play cheeky for right now. I continued out venturing with Sean and Sneeve, coming across what we thought was a swamp island that turns out was mainly made of path blocks, and finding our way to another temple that had been looted by somebody else. But as much as I was afraid of the giant skeletons, pumpkins, and endermen with flames coming out of their face. Turns out a simple whale is more than enough danger for the three of us. Sean. You, know what? you, you get eaten you get... by that whale. Yeah, you get a lot of meat from it, though. Now that's hostile. Now we can't go oh, anywhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, just ignore him. Let's see if we can get him. Get him with the lava. There oh, there we go. my God. <laughs> <laughs> really cooked, we we? That's tonight, horrifying. <laughs> Yo, why is he looking at me like that? What's up, little bud? Oh, no. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, I think oh my that's, god. I think that's its cousin, Sean. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, Sneeve, get out. I'd get away because the bitey fish is right there, too. How much damage did he do, Sean? I was down to two hearts. Whoa. Nice. Note to self, don't, uh, don't antagonize the whales. Sean uh, attempted to free Willy. I didn't do anything, Your Honor. I only immolated the body. Cooking someone's not illegal. Just killing them and eating them is. Yeah, so step step two, perfectly fine. Steps one and three, straight to jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is what I am calling the Booty Bay. Uh, so yeah. if we want to continue north on the island, we got to go on the left side. That whale is 100% staring at you like it's going to kill you. I'm going to go around it. John, the whales are back. I'm not scared of them. You can take them. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> you can take him, Sean. Get in the water with them. Yeah, take them on in their favorite terrain. Excellent strategy, they never expect it. Yeah. It'll just be cool to get Sean's death on camera. The major die on camera, cringe. I gotta head back gotta this way. Own. Yep, right, I mean, you and me are heading to the same place, so might as well. And that was the end of day one of the scenario. So far, haven't died. Stellar A plus across the board. But that was going to get a lot more difficult and a lot more challenging with each passing day. And when I woke up the next morning, the first thing I saw was a few panicked messages in our Discord. Okay, so things have happened. So there's a mod in the pack that when somebody gets knocked down, you have one minute to revive them before they're dead for forever. And uh, Robert just sent a message and he's knocked down. I am the only person online. Oh goodness, does this fill me with dread. I know where he is now. Oh boy, here we go. I crafted up some diamond armor and some golden apples just so I'd have the resources to potentially, you know, fight whatever was guarding Robert's body or whatever had killed him. But that's when it started to storm. And this wasn't normal weather. It seemed to know that I was going to try to save someone and the storm, the island, was angry. It wanted Robert for itself, but I wasn't about to let that happen because Rob could be a good friend and a useful ally. And the last thing I wanted was him to go down. So I sailed my way via the volcano island to the mainland, working my way through, eventually ending up at a tower that was not there before. It had appeared overnight and made me think that there were gonna be far more secrets on this island to uncover than what we had found the night previous. But using Shadow as a little bit of a communications relay, I sent Robert the signal to log in. Okay, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I can wiggle. <laughs> Help me. I see the light. 
<laughs> Don't like... go to the light. <laughs> get, get Robert, move. <laughs> I have one heart. Okay. That would have killed okay. me again. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Put that on. Oh, you have two shulker. What the heck have you been up to? <laughs> I can explain, okay? Yeah, I have questions. Oh, where is it? You had a totem. I know, I know. What is this place? I was like uh, right here, close to here. Is this new? Yeah, this 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 wasn't here yesterday. It's worse than you think. It's worse than I think. Oh, great. It's fine though. I can't believe this. I can't believe I was able to get you. I, I'm never going alone anywhere. That was so close. So really quick, hit hit one of the blocks on the tower. Like what? Just hit like a block. Yeah. Oh jeez. That, that scared me the first time I did that. Oh, why would you tell me to do that <laughs> then? Oh no. This I was just here up. yesterday and this was not here. Oh. There's something I went... weird going on. Wait, actually, let's well, clear. Wait. You want to clear this tower? Should we clear? Yeah, I was gonna say, should we clear yeah, this tower? We can clear this tower. Once Rob had fully recovered, we took stock of the situation. It turns out now spawners were a lot harder to deal with. They would break torches and summon a ton of mobs when they get cracked. The new tower had spawned, which was a whole new question of how this island worked, and the storm was something that concerned us all. Rightfully so. Usually with Robert or Shadow being first because they were in full diamond armor and I was still in half iron. There were some enchanted pickaxes in here, golden apples, all of it felt extremely useful. But not being able to mine through the floor definitely made us take this very carefully. But once we got up to the top, we saw what we thought was a massive game. Bookcases lining all of the walls. Something that we could use to set up an enchanting setup and greatly increase our ability to survive. The top of the tower was also guarded by a summoner, which took all of us just kiting the mobs around in a circle to kill. And I was panicking, calling out the fact that I was almost dead, despite not not even being close. Wait, did you guys get an orb of the summoner? No, no, dude, that's good for you. You can build that staff. And you can summon your own minions. Anything good? Dive, you found a diving suit? Oh no, you can make those with iron. Yeah. I have one oh, too. That's good to know. You wanna head back and then explore somewhere together once we're all ready? I was thinking, you know that- No! Oh! oh. Do you know that uh, like desert island next to us, Robert? Yeah. There's a few pyramids over there. Underwater areas. And they're easy to make too, Laguna. We can make you a suit. Yeah, like I need full diamond. Like I made these boots to come save you. Oh, oh my god. Do you want to invite Ryan as well? Uh, or no? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. The more the better. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So just meet back here. Uh, I mean, if you can just keep going south, you'll find where we are, and that's where the place we're going is. Yeah, anyway. if you just follow this coastline out, you'll you'll hit his bridge. Just so you know, uh, this right here is called the Booty Bay. So I'll see Booty you all Bay? later. Okay. Don't think about it. It's just awesome. Okay, bye. With a plan to explore under the waves, which did not feel like a long-term good decision, but was better now than in the future, trust me, I went home and crafted up a diving suit using a ton of the iron that we had just collected from that tower, some of the copper, and a few other resources to make a set that would allow me to survive under the water. I also spent some time building a bridge so we could avoid sailing on the ocean with those giant red sharks that just wanted to eat our faces. This way, I could get over to the volcano island and about two thirds of the way back towards the mainland without having to touch anything wet, except everything was wet because of the storm. But once we all gathered back up at the tower, the others were more than willing to help me out. Hello. 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 Wait, are you up there too? Sorry, I had to become ethereal for a minute. I needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Gotcha. Ryan's I was just talking scary, about the voices in my head in Shadow Mech. Uh, you, you appear to be now, according to my voices, my best friend. Uh -huh. so I don't trust okay. these voices. Okay. Yeah, I know. Your best friend or your target? Oh, here, Lex. I got a uh, best friend for you. <sighs> you king. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Because of the storm, we figured going underwater might not be the best call right now, or we wanted to wait a little bit later since it was so far away. So we thought, let's go back and re-explore the military base. Considering this tower had spawned, maybe other things were back here. And yes, the thing was partially restocked. All of the spawners were back. There was a ton of new mobs hanging out inside, and things were a little creepy. I got my 
great reaper axe. Look out! Oh my when god. When was the last time I died? <laughs> Never. You don't died. answer that. Behind you, behind you, behind you. What? What, the what was heck? that? What was that sound? Ryan, what'd you find him, bud? I'm trying to find anything. Speaking of you know here, uh, I've got a little something to show you. Just, you know, a little something to, to keep in mind. Yeah? <laughs> Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Just, yeah, you know, just in case you, like... I just, I want to make it to the end. So, yes, a, please, share. Okay. Turn around. That's amazing. At this point, I had collected multiple netherite ingots from multiple friends, and we were all collaborating. We all wanted to get off of this island together. I don't know if that would be the case at the end of the video. I mean, I know. I'm doing the voiceover right now, but you don't get to know until you watch the whole thing. But as we continued exploring from the military base up to the tower near the top of the island, we saw a few chests just casually sitting there. Right, also, the good note. You'll be chagrined to know that the poll on what kind of house I should make just ended. Yeah, yeah, have fun. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah imagine. I know. have fun. <laughs> but I had to go for a bit. The others were going to go continue exploring as a group, go watch their videos to see what antics they got up into. But when I went to log back into the server a little bit later, no one was online, and that should have been a bit of an ominous sign. But I figured it was just as good as time as any to go around and exploring the island. In case I find something amazing, I don't have to share it at this point. So I scaled over the mountains, heading south, the opposite direction of anything else that I had explored thus far, finding a giant jungle temple. Massive. It reached all the way up to build limit almost. I mined my way in through the side of the wall, getting to a lava-filled park core area. All of the chests had been emptied out. There were bridges built between the different pedestals, which told me that this place had been thoroughly looted. It was around this time that Kipley joined as well, and she was a day late to the start of the scenario. So with it being constantly raining, there was no safe time from the mobs that were around. She was constantly under siege. I headed back towards my island, checking up at the top of the volcano, finding a few wither skeletons, magma cubes, and seeing where Sneeve had been lucky enough to grab that netherite that I had so carelessly missed. But once I was back on my island, I put that netherite to work, turning half of my armor into that for the extra protection, and then starting to investigate what the dark arts could teach me and what I could earn from fighting these mobs that up until this point, I was too scared to do so. You know, the others, they play all the horror content. That's not my vibe. I'm much more sunshine puppies and rocket ships. But in order to get full netherite, I'm going to need more diamonds. So I headed down into the mines, pickaxe swinging from side to side, and I found a zombie spawner right away. There was a curse of binding book in it. Golden Boots V2? Maybe a little bit later. But I continued searching, just trying to mine from cave to cave, following any sounds of lava or mobs, grabbing any diamonds that I could get. And the shaders make it really fun to go mining around here. Strip mining only works so far. At some point, at some point, you just got a cave. I look ridiculous with this thing on. Heading back up to the surface, I set all of the raw ores to smelt. With enough diamonds in my inventory, I crafted my ultimate goal for the early game here, an enchanting table. I set up a rudimentary thing in a lush cave that I so carefully crafted immediately right underneath my base. And as soon as I got the advancement, Sneeve immediately noticed and started beelining towards my base. But I broke the torches on a section of my island, allowing a dark space where these mobs could spawn. If I'm gonna gain the dark arts and the mystical powers of summoning and ritual sacrifice, I'm gonna need to face my fears and take on these mobs to get the things that they drop. Being a better armor definitely helped with the courage needed to do this, but I'm watching Kipley get bullied by pigeons while I'm fighting specters and the souls of the damned. And it's right about that time, as if I know what's about to happen because I'm a disembodied voice from the future of this video, when Kippers arrived on my shore. Oh, voice. Hi. Help me. Help me. Everything is dark and yes, I'm hungry. All right, come on. <laughs> You're already in netherite? I've had a very complicated two days, okay? Here you go. Bread, top right Donations? corner. Donations? <gasps> oh. Hold on a second. I got a phone call. All right, yeah, come on. 
five minutes later. I'm about to be summoned from this realm. Uh, how can I help you? You're in trouble. All right, let's <laughs> let's do some things. Please, so netherite man. Boop, this boop, island. boop. <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness, you are the best. You basically just need to iron everything, right? Yeah, pretty much. Tell you what, there you go. Oh, you legend. Anything with that just you could take, <laughs> if you need. Really? Yes. The mainland is scary and filled with murder clowns, and it's it's a Is lot. Murder clowns? Yes. <laughs> Don't go there for a while okay. until you're ready. Until you're ready. So, who's the most stacked right now? You? Ryan. Oh, Ryan, Ryan by far. What? Yeah, Ryan's in full netherite. What? Those two poor spiders on that island. Over. Bro, Just, they're they're stranded man. on the survival island over there. Not us. Look at them. Oh, oh, there he is. Sneeve. What Check is going what? on? Sneeve? What is going on with you? Yes, yes. Uh, what? It's quite hard to control. <laughs> you uh, are what? glitching out. Ah. Ah. He's a fish. <laughs> ah. He's a fish. Uh, Those are I magic have... flip-flops. I have flying fish boots on. I'm going to get Charlie. It's quite hard. Damn you, flying fish boots. He, he, Charlie's on fire. Charlie just oh, yeah. died. Charlie's dead! Yoink! <laughs> oh, classic, classic The Charlie. flaming evil pumpkin. Didn't you need yeah, that? I don't really know what those do. Okay, Sneef. I promised you when I found this, <laughs> when I figured this out, I would I would hook you up. Oh, you're looking God. so pasty this evening. How dare you? I've been working <laughs> on my complexion. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> How? How did you get uh, this many books? I found a dungeon that had a book, or like a library room in it, and I demoed the whole thing. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> What'd you get? I mean, so the next pickaxe I go to enchant will be Silk Touch, which is just nice. Ooh. But I got efficiency four on the axe. Ooh, that is good. I do not have nether wart. Yeah, Damn. I got some. No way. No, I don't have any. That would be amazing. I'm gonna slap you the fish. Ah! Ah! Ah, fish man. You know how levels are kind of hard to come by? I'm level 30, but yes. I know. But yeah, come on, follow me. Do you, you have a you have another mob spawner, do you? Yeah, I found a spawner. Ooh. I gotta find the thing. I just found it when I was downstairs caving. I know I did. I, I think yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries, Lagoon. No, uh, yeah. I caught the biggest fish the other day. It was the size of eight men. Yeah, he just doesn't go to the yeah. school, right? Yeah, yeah, does, yeah, exactly. yeah, they just don't go to the school. <laughs> My girlfriend goes to another school, that's right. Maybe put the torches on the walls so you know which way to go. You shush, sir. I did find a spawner, right? I know I did. Thankfully, after a little while, I realized that I wasn't gaslighting myself, and I did in fact find a zombie spawner, even if the others would never believe me that I did. I did find it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Back. And you could, yeah. if you could turn it into a grinder, we'd have infinite experience, and we could move this down there instead. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, the imaginary zombie spawner. Sure. Okay, look at now. All right. Well, Give me that crafting, take my crafting sure table. Your... It's possible, right? Like, so that's what I think I might do tonight: is turn that spawner into a zombie grinder. I feel kind of naked taking my pants off. Get him! Uh, no. Ow, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean I felt like you're gonna attack me. Yeah. Ah, so I have an extra. Right. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye kippers. Thank you for all the stuff. I appreciate no it. No problem. I don't want you dying. Here's all I need. Do you have any of that dark metal? Yeah, I have three. I have three pieces. You need nine of them to make one. With my first experiment into the dark arts giving me a staff that shoots magic missiles, I realized how silly I was to use the cracked skull for bone meal the day prior. Turns out they're a moderately rare drop. But teaming with Sneeve to unlock the full possibilities of enchanting meant that the two of us had a much greater chance at succeeding. And as soon as I logged back in, Everything was set up. Everything was here. The mob farm was good to go. So I headed up to the surface, seeing that Sneev had taken all of my trees as compensation, replanting those and grabbing everything from the enchanting space, which an enchanting table is filled with water. I don't know what that mob was trying to imply. Breaking it down and rebuilding it down next to the mob spawner. And here's where things were getting complicated. It turns out that magic, or at least the normal magic that we depend on in Minecraft, didn't exactly work work the same way on the island. 
the dark arts that were here, those were fine. You could sacrifice things and, and pledge your soul to darkness as much as you wanted. But if you want to put protection on a piece of armor or sharpness on a sword, nah, -uh. we're not having any of that. This meant that I could enchant my armor to make sure that it would last longer. And that would be essential because we take a lot of damage in these scenarios, but I couldn't just immediately make myself nigh unkillable. So this was obviously not going to be so easy. And that's why I had called it for that day. I had made huge strides forward in the overall progress and some alliances with the other survivors on this island. It was looking really promising that I could potentially do this. But the island wasn't having it. And the fact that it had stormed for an entire real life day should have probably been an indication that things were about to go very, very wrong. Because just when you think you've got all of this challenge figured out, the island throws you a curveball, or in some cases, a tidal wave. Because when I logged in the next day, the danger levels were literally rising. Who poured a lot of water down? What the heck? Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> oh no, the water level has risen. Yeah, I know that must be rough. Uh, I think I need to go. So I'm standing here on an island that's now basically half the size of what it was, just trying to do the mental math. This is what my coastline looked like on day one, before the storms, before anything else had happened, and this is what it looked like now. Turns out the water had risen about six blocks from the storm the previous day. So if that's how long that happens, and odds are that's probably gonna happen again, my house would practically be underwater on the next rainstorm. So it's time to leave. I broke down my farm trying to bring everything I could with me, throwing all of my valuables into a chest boat that I used to sail across the water. Then I used OBS's recording pausing feature, which if you know my history on this channel, we should absolutely never use. So here's an MS Paint representation of what happened. Here I am sailing across the water. Do, 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 do. I'm in my little boat, I'm safe. And then Jaws comes up out of the ocean and attempts to eat my face. Yeah, no, panic, panic, run, run, abandon the boat and run up onto the mountain. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know why I've suddenly turned into Mickey Mouse in this explanation, but okay, we're gonna roll with it. Look, I'm sorry that I miss recording some parts of this. Just look how annoyed I was at myself once I realized. Oh my God, my recording's been paused. My recording's <laughs> been paused the last 10 minutes since I logged out and logged back in. I missed the entire sailing over. Oh my God. You can you can have an illustration. A little illustration of you going across the water and little sharks popping out of the Microsoft. Yeah, paint, I'm just uh, gonna have like scary, <laughs> scary fish chasing me in paint. So maybe since it's not raining today, we're okay? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. But like, again, if it goes up another five, I think the tower still should be safe. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go make a space over here. Okay. And I hope for the best, so. Right, good luck. Yep. So it turns out the strategy here is seek high ground and hope for the best. There was a cave relatively close to Robert's place that I thought I could live in there. It would give me a natural protection and formation on three sides, and all I had to do was worry about sealing the entrance. Broke down a lot of the spruce trees, lit up the area, and dug out the space immediately in front of the base to make something that was easier to get into and out of, in case I would happen to be running for my life, and then spent some time torching up the area, getting some string from Rob to be able to build a new bed and reset my home to here. I recreated some of the initial farms that I had made over back on the island. My wheat farm, bamboo that I had brought over, no mobs, unfortunately, so that meant the quality of food was about to drop substantially. That's the true horrific part of the island, having to go vegetarian for a couple days. But with an initial little base set up here and sharing bamboo with Rob to make sure he had everything he needed too, it's starting to come together. It will have to do, and being closer to others is definitely a good idea for long-term survival. But I know, since I'm not on the island, that others can take a peek in my base, so I left them a cheeky little sign. I had to take a little break again, and Robert had to go shortly after that, and it turns out the island 
changed again. You know how I warned you that the giant floating creepy sets of eyes were going to be the least of our problems? Yeah, the island was not happy that we were moving on to the mainland, and it decided to activate another little bit of things we started to call hordes. When I logged in a little bit later, I'm investigating into dark metal and dark magic. This would allow me to make even better armor than netherite, upgrading it an additional time, which could make up for the lack of protection enchantments and help me survive this thing. And in better armor, I'm feeling confident enough to take on these giant knights with the big red eye staring at you. I don't let them hit me at all. It's constantly strategically reversing at all times, but killing them drops the dark metal that I need. Magic bow definitely helps, but seeing spiders crawl on the wall was bringing black flashbacks to the purge, and that was only about to get very worse. Hey all, editing Lagundo back here, realizing that it's probably a good idea to give you an arachnophobia warning for basically the rest of the video. I am sorry, maybe you wanna leave the sound in another tab if you happen to be scared of spiders, but this video is about to become very much not for you. Okay, back to my torture. So I saw the message of a horde has spawned. And at first I'm like, okay, what's that? And then I saw a bunch of spiders floating out on the water and with shaders and with everything else, it does look ridiculous. I'm busy fighting the mobs here thinking, ah, that's not too big of a deal. It's okay. I can just bow them all down, except even more spawned from another direction and then more. And then more. I ended up fighting spiders for a full Minecraft day and a half, almost exhausting half of the charge of my bow. I'm just constantly critting these things out and there's just more of them. Not as funny as when they're just floating on the water, but it's something that we're gonna have to deal with now. I thought I should head over towards the military base, grabbing a lot of iron bars, stronger blocks, a few things that I could use for supplies for my little cave base. I also thought it would be a good idea to start reinforcing the walls of this space because as things are going to continue getting worse and worse, we might need strong stronger reinforcements to actually keep things out. But as much as I wanted to avoid the danger, I had to become the danger. And to do that, I had to head out in the night, killing ghosts, which blinds you, killing zombies, which turn into skeletons, and killing creepers who flump down in the most ridiculous ways. The wither tornadoes, yeah, they blind you too. And blindness alone isn't bad, but blindness and being surrounded can be deadly. Especially when there's the void creepers up on the surface now too, teleporting around. But now that I had some dark metal, I realized why everybody else was looking for blast furnaces the day before, grabbing a blast furnace from there and heading back to my base, setting up a better path between mine and Robert's and fighting any of the mobs from the dark magic that I could find to try to pick up more dark metal. I even got courageous enough to start killing clowns. I mean, I'm fighting it on this island. <laughs> Too bad the creeper blew up the loot. But as the sun rose, I went back to my base using the orb I had picked up to craft a bone collar staff. And congratulations, it's skeletons. Oh, hello, my children. I spent the day throwing the iron bars on the back of my base, thinking that that could reinforce it from any mobs who would potentially get in, giving myself an extra layer of security. And as soon as the sun set, I was out fighting with my children all night, and they actually do some significant damage. They even helped me take on a clown who did make me very drunk. And it was also about 1.30 in the morning when I was recording this, so that very much took told my brain it was enough Minecraft for the day. And that was the halfway point of the scenario for me. I'm now a father, I'm surviving on the mainland, and I'm starting to really get my grips with all of this dark magic that's around me. But like I said at the start of this day, once you start to get a handle on how you're gonna survive on whatever the heck this island is called, things would get weird. And it turns out when it came to the whole surviving thing, not all of us had fared so well. Because when I logged in the next day, thankfully I wasn't alone in the bay. Both Robert and Sean were here. Unthankfully, unfortunately, Ryan and Sneev were dead. What happened? He died by the of the very snake he thought was his friend. No, he died by his pet? <laughs> You can't tame the anacondas. You can only pacify them. <laughs> oh no! I, I tried to go save him. 
But I was too late and I was too far from his house. Oh no. Have you already been to his place? Yeah, I got, I got everything out of it. Oh. <laughs> I went the summoner route instead of the berserker route. I'm trying to get the dark metal. I just killed another summoner or big guy that drops the orb right when I was talking to you. Sneev also had this, which is, I didn't get to try yet. Um, they're called oh, flying the fish flip boots. Oh, I've seen these. They're so cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go swim. It is, apparently takes it, it takes some getting used to. Uh, but there's a shark in the water. Yeah, there is a shark in the water. But like, go swim and like sprint. Oh my god! And then jump. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> he he had that when he came over Wait. my place once. There's a shark coming for you. Oh no, you're, oh. you're fine. Just careful when you hit the ground. It, it might so have a lot cool. of force. Why did Sean just walk right by us? He did. Sean. Oh, you Madison. both went and looted his place already? No, he wasn't at his house. I was at his house. I looted his place. Uh, it, uh, so like I said, we'll, we'll just ignore Sean. Okay. <laughs> but then Sean was being Sean, so he went to go loot Robert's house for his supplies. And we continued the conversation. And yeah, things were getting weird on the island. Oh, I was going to say, is Charlie friendly? Oh, this is Curtis. This is Curtis? And Yanker's Splinker. Is... Charlie's cousin? They're, they're friendly, yeah. I don't I don't even think they'll hit you. If uh, uh, I am not that. testing that. He had 10 uh, netherite ingots, so I want to split that. What? Well, what? I mean, I don't even have full diamond armor, so like I could use it for my tools. That would be awesome, not gonna lie. Run a contest, Robert. Make people do stuff. <laughs> Make people do stuff. Well, I need my netherite. Oh, jeez. And they crawl. Here, Legundo. Yeah? Come here. I'm just using my kids. One second. I'll just give you three right now, and then I'll split it up with whoever else needs oh it. Oh my god, there's spiders everywhere. Because I know Kipley's going to need some. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. I, do you have a smithing table? Oh! The, here. How hard are the Scarecrow guys to fight? Because there's one over here. A big boy? Yeah, a big boy. Should I be fine? Yeah, as long as you keep your distance, get, get get to him fast before he despawns. I'm gonna try throwing a bomb at him. You ready? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh my god! My I don't god. know how much damage that did, but it must have I done mean, a lot. that killed it. It died pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know how many hearts that, that. But you know what? You all tell me that I take these scenarios too seriously, and considering I've been an absolute chicken and hiding on my island for half of the week already i thought let's take a chance let's have robert throw a bomb at my face hit me hit you do it <laughs> do it like throw the grenade just... oh i don't think it do it you. all right you promised to pick me up yeah okay <laughs> how much damage does that do it only does like two hearts. Yeah, I didn't think it's. Then that again, I'm powerful. in full, like I'm in three quarter netherite or three quarter diamond like netherite. It's fine. I'm gonna throw it straight it, up too it looks a lot more intimidating oh God. than it is. <laughs> yeah, barely any damage. <laughs> as, as long as someone has netherite, I'll just throw bombs at them. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> once Sean gets back, <laughs> get him and throw a bomb. <laughs> okay, so that. Yeah, and then the, the spirit on his head. And then poke one of these. Yeah. It works. And then, you, and then you gotta name tag it. Oh my God. Stay. <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't know if it'll despawn. You know. I don't know. I think I have a name tag, but I don't remember if I do. The others had to go for a little bit, so I spent some time hunting down all of the sources of dark metal in the bay. Those are the giant skeletons, the knights with the red eye and the armor, and fighting the clowns for more of those bomb resources. It wouldn't do squat against the other players, but at least it would be fun to use against mobs. With Chuckles guarding the front of my base, I had such good luck, and I got not one, but two piles of dark metal just from killing mobs in basically this one night. I also saw a message that the server was about to go down for some updates. Read that as new nightmares that I'm going to have to deal with. And that's when spiders got so so much worse. Right after the restart was complete, everybody jumped back on because we all wanted first dibs at whatever dungeons had been restocked and we were all gonna try to go together. I got a little bit of monster hide from Robert that I was missing. I was literally short one piece, 
crafting up the plate that I needed, and then running to the smithing table that we were keeping in the dark tower to enhance my netherite armor. I don't like that. John, why are there yellow spiders that make webs now? There's a lot more than that. Ah! What is Sean doing? I don't know, but he's fighting, so. Sean! Is he throwing all the explosions? The bomb? He's, Sean's shawning. No. I'm fighting creepers. Did I not do that? I, you oh. can, but like, back up. Get him, kids. <laughs> I've decided to name my children Sneep Jr. and Sneep 3. Oh! John? Oh! Oh, oh the there's water. spiders in the water. No! <laughs> no! Heck no! So yes, spiders had invaded the island. There were dozens of types of them. Ones that would shoot webs, ones that were designed to be incognito on stone, and ones that will kill you with a single bite. Plus ones that were about the size of a Tesla and with an ego to match Elon Musk. And we thought, you know what? This is a great idea. Let's go attack the military base that had been overrun with them. Shall I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, one touch from that and you are dead. No way. Wait, Let's just poison? go around. Yes. I'm going around. I'm gonna go up my little, my little thing I made. Let's just go around. No, Robert, why are you going inside? Oh yeah, there's <laughs> absolutely more spiders over there. There's more, <gasps> there's more black widows over there. Oh, 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 no, 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 Robert, 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 Robert. Robert. There's, there's giant, giant spiders. There's giant spiders up here. No. What has happened to this place? <laughs> No, no, thank you. Oh, Separate. oh my gosh, John. John. What's happening down there? Get him, Big kids. Spiders. What do those do? Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I what? Get... I, I didn't know they were gonna them. make this many webs. Oh, Go, kids. No. Okay, the bone collar minions help a lot. Oh, I'm leaping. Sean, don't go that way. There's where Black Widow is. I don't care. It's a green I'm spider. Gone. I'm leaving. I mean, yes, let's leave. But yes, let's oh not leave. God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> no, they're, leaving. They're, they're all over there. They're too. surrounded. They're, they're outside, there's like a thousand spiders. <laughs> we can't even leave. I tried to go over there. It's all, it's all blocked off. Get away from me. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, this one's all here with me. They're climbing, they're climbing up the walls. I'm trying to yeah, they climbed the walls now, Sean. Sean guys, I gotta go. Guys, this is not good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here. I'm, I'm, I've trapped myself in a hole and I'm being surrounded by spiders right okay, now. Okay, just stay alive, Sean. Okay, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. Where on the roof are you? I'm on the roof. Oh, there's this, this is so bad. I'm just trying to plug the holes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. A spider almost just got into my little hidden hole. You're dead if one gets in there with you. Oh no. They're coming. They're coming. They're on the roof. They're on the roof. They're on the roof. They're on the roof. Robert, they're on the roof. Robert. Yeah, they're, Robert, they're, help me, Robert. They're, they're coming. We're good. I don't even Robert, know who you are. No, they're crawling on the roof they're beneath us. Every now and then I see a toe poke through. I have my kids holding the line. Build that faster. Let's go. Okay, I. I'm going. I'm running. <laughs> oh. Okay. Awful. We need. Awful. That's a, that's so many. Look how many spider webs there are. We left Sean behind. There's. Some, we're, we're bringing. Oh, Shadow's spiders. right here. Shadow? I'm right what? here. I I got stuck in a bunch of webs and the 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 sword wasn't breaking them. So I had a Ender Pearl. Okay. Oh, that's good. If you don't have a sword, just put a bucket of water on top of a spider web, and it'll break it. Really? Come on, Sean. Where are you, Sean? Where are you? Digging. Where are you digging? We'll help. Oh no! What? What's wrong? I'm just. I'm. It's not safe. Just. We're trying to help, but crouching. we don't know stop where crouching. you are. Stop I'm not crouching. I haven't. I haven't been oh, I see him. Once. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. He's over there. He's over there. What? No, no, that's not a mine shaft. That's just the spiders. Yeah, some of the spiders can dig. Oh my god. Oh. What? Oh, oh okay. Cool. Here, get, get me Sean. out of this friggin' spider John, nightmare. John, let's go. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Right here. Where'd you go? Here? Come okay. on. Come through. I'm here. Come here. Through. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Come on. Get rid of the There's water. No. Get rid of the water. Get, get rid of the water right now. The water's gone. gone. <laughs> the water's gone. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where's Kim? We saved Sean. <laughs> Holy... Barely. <laughs> you wanna go help him? Probably because he needs help. Uh, Shadow, you won't use spider to save your life. Ooh! Spider <gasps> saved oh! my life? Oh! I got it! Got what? The Felsteed lamp. <laughs> oh! that oh look at my horse oh my god can you jump with it no no jumping oh that is so cool a horde of spiders spiders chasing me what? <laughs> have you guys had that before no. oh buddy look at the look at the military base look at where we're at it's about hey, to be night huh? it's about to be night <laughs> yeah oh yeah 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 kim oh get him Get him! Get it! Get, kill Kim! Get him! Huh? Oh, oh. Get him! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just kidding! Kim, it kidding, kidding. Do anything. kidding! Kim, <laughs> Kim, look. Ready? Oh! I did nothing. It, yeah, it's just scary. scary. It's just it's a little prank. Uh, uh, boys, you follow it. What? Oh. They, oh, they still oh. come for me. <laughs> boys, Kim, Kim, what did you bring here? <laughs> I told you I had a whole of spiders after me. We need to get back to the tower. We cannot do this for another night. Okay, let's get back hey. to Robert's base. Let's get back to Robert's base. This way. You guys turn left. Yes. There's so much cobweb everywhere. Yeah. Spiders. <laughs> Spiders. A bad day, huh? Very so bad day. Right here. So check this out. Okay, mine the floor. It's this really cool block. Yeah. You want me to mine it? Yeah, try to mine out the floor. I want you to see what it's called. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Also, no, I can't get, mine. Get no. in the cell, Kim. Get in the cell. Shadow, what are you doing? What? Nothing. Shadow, ah! Shadow why are you breaking the doors? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> I didn't do it. I watched you. I'm Shadow, why are you trying to get us killed? I, I are you working it, for I, the I spiders? Swear. What is that thing? Oh, I don't like the green one. Should I explode? What is that ghost? Oh my god, there's there's too many spiders! So, do any of you guys have string? Hmm, I think you could find some. <laughs> Robert, Robert, Robert. They're they're going crazy. They're losing it. They're kill they're trying to kill each other. Like Shadow has a giant death scythe and he's just bopping people with it. I'm afraid. What is happening? I don't know. I think the venom's in their brains. It's not going well. What? This is so bad so quickly. Yeah, Nightmare Stalker shows up. Where are you running? You're not. You're dying. Where's the gator pit? That's in my place. Everyone's getting a little antsy around here. <laughs> it was it was a shark pit until the gators came and killed all the sharks. He was fighting? No. Yeah, he, he poured lava on me. But nobody saw that. I'm gonna witness a murder. Nobody One of you that. was gonna kill the other. <laughs> I'm not turning my back on you. So I'm no magic guy. Is this how Kim ends? Is this Kim's <laughs> life? <gasps> oh! <laughs> or you used a pearl when you were low in health again. <laughs> Kim! <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't laugh. I do that. And just when I thought the spiders were the worst thing that I'd have to deal with, I continued out and exploring a little bit later, sailing on stormy seas. The storm had returned. Maybe it was the fact that we were starting to master the dark powers that were here. Maybe it was just the fact that only two of us had died and it was still hungry. I wasn't sure, but it did unleash another new threat on us. The bloodsuckers. They'd come in hordes and attach onto your face. You know, mosquito? Well, in Spanish, ito means tiny. This this is El Mosco, and I don't want to be alone anymore, so I headed over to meet the others. Our thought at this point was head to shadows. Booty Bay was overrun with webs. Most of our individual islands were underwater, but Shadow had built his up on giant stilts. And once the five of us were there, everybody was safe. Well, almost everyone. Kipley logged in. And she was back at my base, in the middle of where a horde had previously spawned on an island that was almost fully underwater. So I had to go get her. All right, stay here, suckers. I'm gonna rescue Kipley. Hey. We're, we're gonna go inside. But yes, the islands are flooding. Whenever it storms, the island floods the next day. So it's about to flood again. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I got some dark armor, which is super nice. 
Where are we going? We're going to, going to rendezvous with everybody else. Oh, okay. Nobody else wanted to come save you. So I'm like, you can't just let you alone in all of this. So I appreciate I you, man. You're, You're welcome. a real one. Anything in these chests that you can find that is potentially useful, just go ahead and take. Anything. Anything. It's not like I'm coming back for it. I'm going to break the carrots. Cause yeah, this is about to all be underwater. There's no oh. way it's not. Get in the boat. All right, let's go. Woo. This might be bad. Yeah, why are there spiders in the water? Oh, okay. Spiders swim now. That's and also shoot webs. And That's also are made awful. out of slime. And also <laughs> can be invisible. And what? also... Oh, and also there's black widows that will kill you if they bite you. Like death. Full on that death. Is, that is disgusting. Yes, it's bad. And for the arachnophobes of this group, it's worse. Uh. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're it's fine. It's so wavy. Okay. What was that? That's another one. No. Sure. Okay, Kip. Kip. That's... What? Uh, just tell them horde. Okay. Just say horde. that. Horde. 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 We're going up this, and we're getting in the house. Okay. Okay. We're going up this. Do not jump in the pond. Oh ah! my god! Oh no! no! <laughs> what was that? We almost got hit by lightning. Oh my god! Go, I'm into the boat. Run, <laughs> just run. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey guys. Get in the house. on me. Get in the house. Thank you for coming yep. to get me, you know? All, all of you guys are so brave. You're yes. so, so brave. No, Gate look at the, look at the, if all of us came, it would have been even harder. It would have been hordes constantly. Laguna had a shortest straw. Uh, Shortest straw. Geez. Laguna was the bravest, all right? You all yeah, suck it up. Yeah, thank you, Laguna. Sean's monologuing in his head, so if you watch his video, you'll know what exactly what he's saying. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I, if I had those bombs, I would have threw them at her. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh. Yo, there it is. There it yo, is. Yo, yo. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be here with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling so safe here, you know? This yep. is uh, here you go. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is the worst. And then, with all of us together, as what always happens in one of these scenarios, we've come to the point of the incident. The attempt on my life that, as usual, didn't quite work how they expected. Need two pieces. It's just cold. Does anybody have two pieces of iron? Or, yes, or like a smithing table? Oh, oh, no, no. oh, no, no. oh my god, you that? guys! You guys go! What was that? Get him, get him, get him, get him! Y'all tried to kill me! I'm getting out of here. I don't, I don't trust any of you guys right now. Who has nah, 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 nah. I don't know who knocked the floor out from under me. I know I who did this. I didn't see who did it, but I'm not staying in the house. I actually didn't see either. I didn't either. You are so... Oh, the urge to just burn your whole house to the ground, oh Shadow. What? What are you hitting me? Because it was you or Shadow. It wasn't was, was me. Hey, was everyone, we're not going to survive the next three days if we're fighting. <laughs> Attempted murder is a crime. Gundo. Hmm. Go, my champions. Go get him. That doesn't actually work. It doesn't work? No. They don't <laughs> attack people at all, brain. like ever. This is crazy. Oh. No. <laughs> give me a bit, man. You give me a bit. Don't worry. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think of your lava, buddy. No. <laughs> that's what I think of your lava. <laughs> Did you do it, Shadow? <laughs> Shadow's not talking to me. Okay, listen, everyone. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was oh, on oh. mute. No, I did. I didn't. I promise. <laughs> I didn't. Feeling a little less safe and everyone being on edge, everyone pointing accusations and me not knowing it was Shadow until looking at the footage after the fact, I did not feel safe anymore. So I grabbed everything I could, threatened to set Shadow's house ablaze, and headed back to the bay with Kipley, Robert, and Kim. If Sean and Shadow want to go mad to the island and kill the rest of us, sacrifice us so they can escape, that's on them, but I'm not going to sit here and let them do it. It took us a while, running through all of the webs, climbing around the mountains, eventually making our way back to the bay, and it was in a rough state. 
thankfully, Robert had a little bit of armor that he was saving on the side for Kipley, and we were able to get her up into netherite at least, so she's gonna survive a little bit, and started looking into what it would take to make more of the dark metal weapons, and we didn't have enough. We poured everything we could into golden apples just to try to make sure that we could survive fighting any of the dark knights that were popping around. But there was a new problem. Oh no! I'm infected. Get a golden apple. Good thing you made golden apples, huh? Yep. With the new threat of a zombie virus exhausting some of our healing supplies, this is only going to get more complicated. And there's only a few days left. And the storm is back, which means we better get ready for the water level to rise yet again. When I logged in the next morning, my guess was right, and the water level had risen, but so had the tension and the danger. Because before I'd even joined on this day, Kim and Sean we're basically trying to kill each other. Oh, what did Kim do? No, I have been this says, Sean, you're out of control. No. You were out Kim, of blood. Kim burned three of my idols. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not it's not even true. Oh my god, why did the water get so high? Hey Lugino, you know, you, can I buy some uh, totems from you? No. Stay away from me. Sean managed to kill himself a few times, so he needs a totem. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sick of all this. What we happened? To, we need to go and fight something together. What I'm happened? Not, I'm not going without an idol. Buddies. We all agreed to go to the top of the nearby mountain where the Pumpkin King had spawned. And in taking it out, we'll likely be able to get the supplies for a powerful pumpkin launching rocket launcher, basically. Problem was, the second we crossed the bay, a horde spawned on me. And the others, minus Kipley, abandoned me in an instant. Um, no! 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 We gotta go! Time to run! I mean, get in the boat! Get in the boat! Shout out! Sh get oh, in the boat! Oh, Kip, on, let's go! On. We're running! Get, go, go, go! No. So we can just go there. Wait. Hey, don't let them leave us. Follow them. No, no, no don't leave us behind. Don't leave us Good behind. Luck. I'm gonna follow you. Nah, I'm gonna bring it with us. Fun. I'm gonna bring it with us. No, no Fake. abandoning me. Fake friends! <laughs> Oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, God. I'm getting hit. This is a problem. I just ran in a random direction. I had no idea where I was going, if I was heading into danger or away from it. I just needed to get out of where I was. I jumped in a boat, sailed across the sea, running into sharks before having to run back to land, starting to climb up the mountain, thinking at this point I'm on the other side of it. All the mobs are potentially gone. But before I could make it to the top, Kip finally found me. We headed around the military base thinking that we could join the others, get a chance at the loot, and Sean mentioned that the boss had been slain. I, so I, I feel the need to warn you about something. Yes. There's, there's these new traps in the game. Yeah. That's how Sean died, all right? It looks like a pressure plate. Oh, there's there's one of the like sticky thingies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. But it looks like a pressure plate and it will launch you like 30 blocks in the air and it will kill you. Okay. So don't trust pressure like, plates. Kills you with the fall, or it kills yeah. you. Yeah, it killed full netherite Sean with the fall. What? Oh, oh dang. Okay. So don't trust pressure plates. We cleaned up some of the bugs and waited for the others to join us before they just kind of left. At this point, it's getting clear that maybe not all of us have all of our best interests in mind, and. Some are more focused on exclusively their own survival. Maybe that's a mentality I need to adopt. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh? My. You saw that, right? Yeah, wait, what? Oh, that's amazing. So is that your jungle tree house? It is. It almost worked. I so mean, you don't have yeah. land to get to it now, which is a problem. Yeah, that was, that was kind of the problem. I spawned in and there are a bunch of monkeys below me and you know. Ooh, clowns. Are they home? <laughs> yeah, they are. No. Yeah, they're there. I got back to the base to challenge them on that. Ask them why they had left me behind. Because I didn't want to give up on the opportunity for us all to be able to escape together. This feels like the first scenario where we're actually challenged to work as a team. And I don't know if it's actually going to go down that way. But I thought, you know what? If they're going to go do dungeons on their own, so am I. They had mentioned a volcano that all of them said that there was good loot there, but they were far too afraid to attempt to take it on. And I 
I'm not afraid of anything except clowns and spiders and the skeleton monsters, big wolves, and the nightmare. You get what I mean, though. I'm not afraid of the things that they're afraid of. <laughs> I'm not afraid of fear. So I jumped in a boat using the trees to keep myself above water with multiple stacks of dirt in my inventory bridging out across the ocean. Good thing I did too, because now there was giant toothed angler fish just munching at the surface, seeing a tasty little morsel and desperately wanting a snack. I had to be very careful though, because there were multiple of those projectile shooting bugs and just one knocking me off the bridge could spell certain death. I made my way all the way over to the island, touched down, and saw multiple pairs of eyes of nightmare stalkers waiting in between the skulls that formed this volcanic dungeon. And I thought, nope, nope, time to go. I ran all the way back to the others because I can't take that on alone, but at least I know what's there now. I thought the information could be useful, but when I went back to my base to drop off a few things and get some supplies, I found out it was trapped. Oh God, were the cicadas really necessary? <laughs> oh, you, the got them all, you got them all over your head. They all live over here. <laughs> Look at them in the bamboo. Jesus, they maybe like the bamboo. <laughs> Yeah, make any I sense. think I think if they have one in the overworld, you have to revive it first. Oh yeah. Um. I have so many seeds in my inventory. It's what so is this? Cool. What is this in front of my base with pressure plates? Stone pressure plate. Spring pad. <laughs> what is this? Is that what Kim's been making? Yeah, Kim's been putting them all over the place. Yeah, that's just... taking my iron. <clears throat> they just toss you up like ten. You blocks. said it was called a what, Legundo? Spring pad. Here, bit, and then there's water he was... right here. Oh my god. Okay, I just get pick me up if this does something. Oh, oh, that was a lot higher. Well, oh, what holy. in the world? Oh, oh, I missed. Holy. I missed. That's what I this missed. did. I missed. I missed. <laughs> I missed. Get that out of here. Why'd that throw you so high? <laughs> Oh I missed! God. How did I miss? It was a two by two hole and I missed! You had control over that. You could have hit that uh, that water for sure. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get thoroughly roasted for missing that in the comments. Okay, yeah, I, I want to try sure. something. I want to try something. Sean, I want to try no. something. No. It's a three by three puddle. This should be no. impossible to miss. Impossible to miss. Okay, okay, look. When I missed it, it was a two by two puddle. And now it was bigger. So, yeah. Stand on the tough block. I want to see if it fires if I put it under you or if you need to like step on it. Oh, wait, before we do that, just do this. Better better way to test it, okay? Put it right under me. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Get this out of here. Uh, you need to move. Uh, okay. Give it back. <laughs> After doing a little bit of experimenting with the pressure plate and seeing just how lethal that thing can actually be, I tried to convince the others to join me. If nothing else, they can be a distraction or a diversion for the nightmare stalkers while I go in and get all of the loot, since I had an ender pearl and nobody else did. The problem is there was yet another new insect on the island to cause us problems. Tarantula hawks. Dude, I'll cuddle up. <laughs> I don't want to hear this noise. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. I have a pearl. <laughs> I'd like a pearl. Oh, uh, horde. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start doing it like Kim. <laughs> Just say nothing. Where's the horde? What is it? A horde up. I see a bullfrog. I see a alligator. Oh no! Oh no! It worked. I see a mosquito. Did you just make alligators the horde mob? No, no, it was already alligators. Oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? It's a tarantula hawk. I'm stung. They're what both does that mean? Sting. Yeah, Robert. It'll only take you down to half health. Shadow, get inside. Shadow, get inside. Oh. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. That this is thing? truly yeah. horrible. Oh, I got stung. Get inside. I need milk. There are no cows on this island at all. We're done for. I just saw, I saw like 30 fly from behind them. It's been fun, y'all. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> There's just you nothing but smoke. Up. I can't see anything. Uh. Now I was shooting my pumpkins out and then Robert. <laughs> Will you stay stop? Oh. I'm in the house right now. <laughs> stay inside, stay inside, stay alive. 
Ow! What the heck? That hit me through the wall! Yeah, they hit through I can't things. get down! They can launch their stingers. <laughs> and these things are by far the worst. If they hit you even once, they give you 30 seconds of a debilitating sting debuff that keeps you at half health, just constantly ticking damage. Every time they hit you, it became a lot. But I eventually got the others to commit and think that we could go out and do this volcano together. Problem was, we left just as it was about to turn to night. So we only made our way towards the lookout tower near the military prison, but there were still nightmare stalkers there waiting for us. It's right behind Sean. Door? It's right behind. It's Door's following open. Sean. Sean Door's is right open. behind Sean. Come, 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 come. Oh my God. Okay. I wouldn't stand I next just, to the wall. I just, I just blocked. Oh, how, how big, how big of a hole can it go through? Uh, two by one. I yeah. Can, yeah, I can hear it out there too. It just almost got us. What's that? Oh my gosh. Oh what? my gosh. What? No. No. What? No. Oh. No. Oh. no. No. They can spawn in this room. What is that? There's a nightmare stalker spawner up there. Oh there no. Robert, get inside. I'm inside. Where? He's up there with them. I'm up here. Oh, I nightmare see stalker. the spawner. I'm trying to take out the spawner up here. You have to oh. melee it? I hit it. Yeah, you gotta hit it. I made mean, just like a little bunker. The spawner. Nice. Okay, there's a little bunker on the bottom floor. Oh, there's still a there. nightmare stalker up there. You're so infected. Oh my god. Oh my god, Shadow! Shadow. Mine it, mine him, mine him. Uh, I couldn't get down. There's still a nightmare stalker up there. There's two. I'm killing them. <laughs> Shadow, I saw what you did. He <laughs> killed a zombie! The horde's coming. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that was amazing! I got two pieces of dark metal. Two pieces of small Pieces ones. or a pile? Small ones. Pieces. Oh. Once we had survived that, and we were heading over towards the volcano, the attempted murder did not stop. If anything, we were all starting to go crazy and experience the true definition of insanity. What is love? Don't do it, don't do it. I knew you were gonna- I knew you were. I already don't I like this. Bye, Sean! <laughs> What happened? Shadow, why would you hit the ground? I I tried, it wouldn't it was making me go that way. And almost as if the island knew we were coming, just as we were about to sail the volcano, the storm was back. Great. Well, I'm gonna head back, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's been nice. You don't wanna do it? I'm thinking. I'm thinking this might not I got be a, a horde. good idea. I got a horde. What? I got another horde. I just got hit. Sideways. Oh, it's the tarantula. It's the, hawks. It's the tarantula thinks. It's the hawks getting 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 a hole. Getting a hole. Shadow, get out. Shadow. It's the what? The hawks. Shadow. No. This is not fun. I'm trying to <laughs> mind just, to you all. He just whacked me sideways. Are you all safely in here? Is this safe? Yeah. Yeah. This is awful. No, we got we're surrounded by tarantula hawks. In a hole. Surrounded by we're nightmare hole, stalkers. We're on Volcano Island that's littered with night stalkers. I should if I turned around when I said I would, I would have been dead. I have an idea. idea. This is water level, I'm assuming. If we just dig out straight in a direction, we can get to the water, get on boats, and get off this island. I hear spiders, so careful. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, make your crafting table quick. We can make slabs, and then we can make little like slits where we can stab their ankles. We're making it out of this. The air's quiet. We're surviving, boys. Do you want to do it over here? Yeah. So like, mind that block. Okay. Perfect. Ow. Oh, ooh, they bite. Three second poison on those guys. Okay, here, get that one on your right too, and let me uh, put another okay, slab right there. And are we gonna go oh, again? What the heck? What the heck? What the? Sean! <laughs> that was not me! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna die. Get back. Get back. Get back. Don't stand there. Good. We're good. We gotta. No, you stay on your side of the wall. <laughs> you do. You do stay over there. Do not get close. They'll pull Sean, you through the blocks. Sean! <laughs> they will pull you through the blocks. I learned that the hard way. Sean. Sean, no. Sean. 
<laughs> Sean's trying to kill us. Sean's gone crazy on the island. He's becoming a cannibal. Where did Sean go? Where did Robert go? I'm assuming they went. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that would have done anything. <laughs> trying to get off this island. I think we're, we're out. Alright, get us in a boat, get us in a boat, let's go. Shadow, I got a boat. Ready? Move, yeah, Shadow, one. move. I got one. Okay. Let's get, let's get let's out go. of here. Let's go, let's go. This is go. horrible. Whose idea was this? Volcano Island. <laughs> Shadow, we're gonna have to break. We're, we, we're, we're separated from them. There's an uh -huh. angler directly ahead of us. Get ready, we're gonna have to get to land. Shadow, get to the mountain. Shadow? Oh, okay, that's time to run. This is horrifying. Sean attempting to TNT the entrance to the cave and let all of the mobs in told me everything I needed to know. This man had gone island crazy and he was ready to sacrifice all of us if it meant that there was any opportunity that he would be the one to escape alive. Now, I couldn't just outwardly become hostile to them because then I pull myself from the group as a whole and make myself the outlier again. I can't risk that, but I need to play it very carefully with Sean and the others from this point forward. After we had gotten split up and I was on my own, just stuck in the side of a mountain, I eventually was able to make my way through. Digging around and fighting off the tarantula hawks, seeing anglerfish just chilling in the lake inside the mountain as well, before killing a few endermen, trying to get replacements for ender pearls so I could save myself from a potential yeet death later on, or escaping a giant mob who wants to eat my brains. I was fighting any of the dark arts monsters that would spawn in the night, just trying to get more dark metal so I could make a better weapon. Unfortunately, I let one of these skull knights punch me, which led to a curse that I didn't know what it was gonna do. Oh my god. I knew something was gonna jump scare me and I still got scared. Yeah, that's a jump scare too many. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a lot. Before heading back out again, wanting to give the volcano another shot. This time alone, somehow safer without the others around. I'm using range to try to take down things that would bite me to death, like the alligators, and fighting off the tarantula hawks however I can. The problem I have now is the massive amounts of teeth down in the water and the tarantula hawks floating overhead that could bot me off the bridge to my doom. After a couple different thoughts and trying to work out the scenarios in my head, I thought it was better to walk away and live to survive for extraction the following day. From there, I explored more of the terrestrial landmarks, finding this giant totem and trying to dig around inside. Nothing of immense value is there. There were endermen hiding under some of the trees, which I was able to kill to nab an ender pearl. From there, I headed south, getting over towards the large cargo vessel that had been left behind that I had looted a few days earlier, hoping that potentially it was restocked. It was also once again overrun by spiders, and my biggest fear right now is a bite from a black widow. One of those is certain death. I spent a little bit of time investigating, crawling on the outside parts of the boat, just trying to see through, and yep, there were spiders all right, but I couldn't see any of the identifying markings. That was until one of them shot some webbing, knocking me down into the water, and I figured time to cut my losses. I'm fighting up against so many mobs right now, getting another ender pearl, but also getting a horde which spawned on me. And instead of being smart, digging in and fighting from an entrenched position, I just kept running, thinking I can make it home before I'll die. And then I heard the horrible, horrible sound. The thing you never want to hear in one of these scenarios. My armor broke. I threw one of my two precious pearls to get out of the spider webs and try to get away from being surrounded, running over land, over sea, and into my base, breathing heavily 
but just barely escaping alive. Now I'm in iron pants and my survivability just took a nosedive. Oh, magic conch, magic conch. Will I survive this island? Well, that's not encouraging. Despite what the shell says, in a couple days, I was going to find out because it was time for extraction, our one chance at escaping this place. But just like with everything else on this island, there was no way it was going to be so simple. This is it, extraction. A ship is coming at three o'clock and we have just about an hour and a half remaining and whoever is on these four beacons will survive. The only problem is we need a bell and a relic from the jungle temple in order for them to actually come and pick us up. And when I logged in, things were getting spicy. Makoto. Hi, hi, hello. There's a horde outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> And also, why is Kim. Sean looking for you? They killed Kim, man. They killed Kim. They killed Kim? Robert kept trying to get Kim in his house. Kim went in his house. The whole house blew up. A horde was summoned, so none of us could res him, and he died. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't There's... tell them you're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> also, what is this sign? This is probably not. Oh, uh, I did a bit where the magic conch told me if I were to survive. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it, it said I would survive, too, right? I mean, all the information is on the sign. <laughs> Probably not, I see. Robert just used a totem. Oh no. Wait, Robert just used a totem? Okay, we gotta go. We what gotta happened? go. We can't be waiting here. What happened? I don't know. Robert's not even with us right now. Oh god, oh, this stupid my. bug. I'm so glad it flew past me and went to you. <laughs> Great, I'm going inside again. Well, good, now there's so bad. I know. I'm. I'm. Guys, I'm gonna die. Guys, I'm gonna die. Oh, go down. Do you have blocks? No. Okay, run, run. So this is concerning. It turns out it might be the two of us versus the three of them who are still alive. I almost died. It was almost so bad. Where's Kipley? I don't know. Welcome to my house, Lugundo. Hi. It's a crater. Yeah, there's no house anymore. And it's one man's fault. And I wonder who. Was us today. <laughs> the guy who started opening doors he shouldn't open. I don't, I don't, give, a sh I don't give a shit about these bugs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> worst vacation ever. Yeah, this is worse than Horror Island. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna We got a. Me or Shadow has a has the bell. So without that bell. What do you mean you or Shadow? And yeah. either of us die, no one's getting off the island. Oh. They're not telling us. Okay. Anything. One more artifact in the temple that we need to get off the island. It's still there. And there's four of us that can leave? I'm gonna throw it out there, Lagundo. I I'm have just a kidding, wither. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have the stuff to make a wither, and I will be making a wither if I'm not on a pillar. <laughs> okay, so threats. Alright. This is what it's just it's, it's No 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 no. It's, it's, it's insurance. 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 <laughs> insurance threats, same deal. I have a bed. I have a bed. I have Go a bed. to your bed and we'll all log out because we have nothing now. Okay, log out. <laughs> Kip, I hear you. Yep. I'm not going to kill you. Don't worry. Okay, log out for a sec. Okay. I'm not going to kill you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it off this island. But the problem was either Robert or Shadow had the bell and we didn't know which one it was, which meant we couldn't just isolate ourselves from them, compete for the actual victory. We need them in order to escape. And this, this is a situation that five-year-old me who used to watch cartoons on Saturday mornings thought would be much more prevalent in my life, but I'd never experienced until right now. All right. What the heck? What? what? Oh, what the? I can't break uh, it. Sean? I can't break it. What? What is that? Help! I can't get him out! 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 Help! Who's got help? I can't Who's got the spoon? It doesn't break. Dig him! 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 There's there's rocks there. Wait! Walk forward! I want backup! I'm gonna use TT! I'm gonna use TT! Back up! Back up! Back up! Don't blow it! Don't blow it! No! No! Don't blow it! Don't blow it! Kipley, you're crazy! He's he's in there. No, but I just break the sand. What is that? Is that quicksand? quicksand? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you okay? No. What the I'm staying in the hole. 
there's quicksand on the island now. <laughs> there's quicksand. Is it all the sand? Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. You're fine. Uh, don't go this on way. the sand, I guess. I'm going this way. With my near-death by sand. Oh, I really need to get off this island. We all headed over the mountain towards the jungle temple. The thing we need is in a chest at the very bottom. The problem is it's surrounded by many mobs with many, many legs. What is that? Oh, heck. <laughs> no. Hugs. Heck no. The, the centipede is following us. That oh. is a nightmare. That's a nightmare. That's a nightmare, demon. Oh, why is it? Why did it choose me? No, it's choosing me. I right, hate it. Let's, because this house was made by me and Kim. Oh, was it? Yeah. Tarantula hawks. A lot of them. Oh, oh my God. Sad. More of those. More of those centipedes. Since we couldn't go in the front door because there was infinite legs attached to infinite mouths which were coming to eat us, we decided to mine in. And I followed Robert digging a two by one tunnel, just trying to snake our way around and through the area inside this jungle temple to get the treasure that we needed to escape. We made our way to up inside one of the walls. <laughs> we, we live in the walls now. And we're fighting off all of these mobs. There were soul vultures, centipedes, and spiders. So, so many spiders. Is there a chest? Yeah, that's what Do we know for. for a fact? But do we know? We're here for where you. I don't Sean? know where it is. I don't know but do we is. know? I see it now, too. Oh, dude. Directly above your head. There's something. There's nothing in this chest. Okay, y'all. I found it. I found it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got you it. Got it. the item? No, but I know how to get to it. But progress was genuinely slow. The problem we had is that every now and then, Sean would just go missing, which made me and the others quite concerned. Hey there, everybody. Editing Lagundo again. This got super laggy just because of the number of mobs in this area. So I had to turn shaders off for a while. Sorry that the aesthetics aren't quite there and that the video is still a little framey, but so much happened that you need to see. All right, back to the less than ideal video. But eventually, after trying this several different ways, I ended up underneath the floor where everything that was trying to munch us was standing on, tunneling around like a little rat with Robert, just trying to get underneath the chest, just like the Assassin's video, where we can grab the thing out of it and book it. Just a note, uh, I didn't know this at the time, and as you watch the video, I will have no idea that I caused this, but keep an eye on that ender pearl on my hotbar and what's about to happen. Oh no. What just happened? I'm gonna die. Where are you? I'm in a block. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Right <laughs> oh what god. just happened to you? I don't know. I got like teleported up you into the block. I'm one block away. Do I go no, two blocks away? No, you're not. Laguna's directly below. I can see him there. Got, got, it. Got, it. got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, let's go, let's go, let's get out of here. It's a uh, megalodon. <coughs> oh my god. It's poisoned, it's poisoned, oh no. No, 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 not that way. I don't know, I don't know how to get out. You know Sean's gonna summon the wither regardless of what we do, right? I know. Are we gonna do anything about it? Or are we just gonna uh, it just let it happen, I guess. I just hope he doesn't do it. With the jaws safely in hand, I now felt that I had security going into the final extraction. And working with Robert and Shadow, who had the bell, we had everything we needed. Now we just needed to get to the pedestals, be standing on them when the clock hits three, and you survive. Once we had dug out of the tunnel and made our way back towards Booty Bay, I reunited with Kip, who was hanging out in my base for relative safety, and then we started figuring out what our next plan of attack was. Because the island was not done with us yet, and even on the verge of escape, there was one or two final surprises waiting. We're all going in our own boat. No one wants to double up. <laughs> no one. <laughs> no one trusts. Oh boy. Flying all right. V. All right, let's go. That's barely above water. This is it, though. I call this one. Yeah. Are we just That's going like by dibs? Chairs. Dibs. Oh boy. <laughs> oh shadow. <laughs> I don't I trust. Don't yeah, whatever's floating around underneath us <laughs> doesn't make me feel safe. Oh. Oh. Ah! Yeah, I'm out. I what saw that, that coming! <laughs> what was that? What 
The island doesn't want us to leave. Do we have to be standing right on that block, or can we be above it? Or is it right on that block? Right on the block. Oh, I don't know. What are we doing? What are we doing, y'all? Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like it when the server restarts. It's never good when the server restarts. I'm not connecting first. I don't want to die. The reason I'm freaking out because the server went down is because usually when the server goes down, it means something new is being turned on or the island is getting angrier and... Oh yeah, the island was in a bit of a mood and did not want us to leave. Oh, come on. Hi. Hi. What's going on here? I don't know. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he added. Look at the way you do it. I'm making us another yeah. way out. Why, Sean? Are you worried about something? <laughs> is there... Is there something that you've something that you've enabled in the back? <laughs> Got you the bear trap. That you trap. did. So <laughs> Where's Kip's on. Uh, we got split up when we were at the, back at the at the poles. Okay, so there's spawners down below with the things. Yeah. Which, which are going to be a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to deal with those. Or the dive suits. Would the dive suits allow you to break at normal speed? Yeah, I have some dive suit stuff here. But you should do it, this... John. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> Even if you're. St what? Okay, it's, I think it's Kim. <laughs> I have an aqua affinity enchant. I mean, that'll do it. If you give me a diving suit with the aqua affinity, I will go down and do it. Right, I guess that's a me sleep. Yeah. Thanks. So. Okay, everybody out. Hey, Kim. How you doing? <laughs> Should I trust Sean? <laughs> I figured. With a message from Kim saying, don't trust Sean, which aligned very nicely with my own, you know, concept of self-preservation, I'm going to try to escape this thing, but I have to stay close. Kip Lee was messaging me this whole time and she set up a master stroke play. You all are gonna have to go watch her video to see what she tried to do. It was brilliant. But I'm just sitting here trying to convince the others that we need to go break the spawners and secure the space. Robert volunteered to be the one to head underwater and I had a blast furnace back at my base. So I used it as an opportunity for us to get alone and to build out a dive suit for him. Oh, and there's some iron here too. Yeah, I'm good on iron now. I, just, I need, um, do you have stone? I need smooth stone slabs. No, I don't actively, but here. You can smelt it down yeah, smelt downstairs. Some. No, I, I haven't. Even, I just need to put um, Aquafinity on the helmet now, and I'm good. Okay, All right, I'm heading back. Someone needs to go out with them. Robert, if you do this and you survive, you're a guaranteed. You get a guaranteed spot. I'll go and I'll aggro the anglerfish, and that should cover me. Mm. I'm gonna make sure that he succeeds. He's yeah. not gonna do this by on his own. I'm gonna go too. If I die, it was meant to be. Okay, then I guess I'm coming as well. All right. If I, if I die, just make sure you pick up the, the bell. To do. I don't know where Kipley is, and that makes me nervous. I'm going in. We will get off this island. Come on, I'll be the distraction. Okay. Okay, get a spawner. Get a spawner. I'm leading them away. I'm looking for spawners. Oh, that's Komodo dragons. Sean, I thought you said there'd be no more tarantula hawks. I, oh, I meant Why right is now. More? Oh no, there's another horde that just spawned on me. There's a Komodo dragon coming after you. And there's a Komodo dragon coming after you too. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, it's the sucky ones. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh. Y'all, help, help. Help, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. The water is not friendly. Oh, Kipley, Kipley just got post-mortal. There, there's like some giant squids or something that are right there and it's attached to my face and it is scary. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over by you two now. Sean. Sean. What, what? You tried. You tried! What? The quicksand at the door? I didn't put that there. Really? No, I honestly did not. I don't know who to trust now. I thought he's we were gonna, gonna kill us all. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put that there. I walked right across that, but then there was no problems. 
And then it just broke open for me. See? Look who's look who's in danger and look who's not. And despite all of this, despite the attempts of Sean just continuously trying to get me killed, I still need them. I don't know if Shadow or Robert have the bell. And I'm I'm praying that Kip's strategy is going to allow us to escape this island safely. Once they put it down, we don't need them anymore. All we need to do is get to the end. So I cleared out the bay with Sean and Shadow and made a break for it. Well, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I think this tossed him. Yeah, that's not good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> How high up can it reach? How high up can it reach? I don't know if it can reach me. No! No! Kipley, please! Kipley! Someone save me! I'll remember this! I have 30 seconds! Because I'm rising from the depths! What? I'm not going out that easy! Get out of the water! Kip, I'm on the ground! It's the best I can do! Five, four, oh my god, ten, oh! nine, look out, no, no! I'll die with you, man. It's okay. Kip, survive, survive I for me. Tell I my story, Kip, leave. And that is where my adventure on this shipwrecked island comes to a close. At the end of everything, Shadow and Robert were the two to survive. But if you think it's a simple story from what you just saw, oh, you couldn't be more wrong. Check out their videos down in the description. There is so much more that happened in those last 20 minutes. It was bonkers. But thank you all so much for watching. The names you see on screen are my amazing patrons who help make content like this possible. More big videos coming very, very soon. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Good night.